If you'd like to be our next guest on End to Asks, just click the link below. Hope you enjoy the episode. Hi, and welcome to another episode of End to Asks. I'm Caitlin Bullock. And I'm Adam Colazetti. We're the founders of Enta, and uh, today we have wonderful Megan Barefoot with us. Okay, so kombucha, it is, I never made it, but it is easy to make in the house. Kombucha is so easy. All you need is some tea. I give recipes out for this all the time. Yeah. Some tea, some sugar, and I know I just said that sugar was um, very inflammatory, but what happens is I share a SCOBY with you. And SCOBY is kind of like the base. It's what it's the, the it's like an algal mat and it what? will, um, <laughs> it's <laughs> like an algal mat. It's like a jelly. It's all the gut bugs. It's all the bacteria and they make this, this oh. mat and it kind of floats in your kombucha and it eats up all the sugar and grows. And at the same time breaks down the tea and makes it nice and sour and amazing and delicious. And they multiply and grow off that sugar. So by the time it's fully fermented into this amazing kombucha, it's, um, it has very little sugar left in it. So yes, oh. tea, black tea or green tea, sugar and SCOBY, water. That's Scooby. all you need. And then Scooby you just do. let it sit for a couple of weeks in a big jar and the little gut bugs do their thing. You've, you have a, a bit of a story around making kombucha is what I heard. I have a great story. <laughs> so one of my clients, um, I went over to her house to help her make some kombucha and she had done a lot of the work, but she was very excited to share her kombucha <laughs> with me. Um, and she was also making kefir water at the time. And we were like, it was, it was great. We were just having so much fun and she was flavoring it with all this great, um, some fruit and uh, some dried ginger, but she forgot that when she, so what you do is you brew your kombucha and then you do a kind of a second um, sit for a while to flavor it. And she, so she had it all bottled and she was putting ginger and raspberries and the ginger was dehydrated mm -hmm. so as it expanded and sucked up some of the fluid um and then the it bugs created a vacuum really right? liked <laughs> well she has these great bottles that seal fantastic there's nothing getting out of there so it's pushing up as the the ginger was expanding and the the bugs in there were producing CO, like gas right yeah, yeah. From, and so that's what makes it carbonated, the second um, ferment. Okay. So it's, it's expanding, it's expanding. And when she opened the bottle, it was oh like a volcano. It was so funny. <laughs> it went straight up. It hit the ceiling. We were covered <laughs> in, in chunks of raspberry and ginger, our hair, our clothes, her ceiling, all around her sink and her kitchen. <laughs> oh no. So there are some risks that you need to think about when you are making your kefir water and your your kombucha and your ferments in your kitchen just be careful mm. yes you're just thinking like so, I, this never happened with the rocks right <laughs> never i i wasn't lucky enough to be at an actual volcano but that was, was probably as close as i'm gonna get there you go. so there's a bucket list <laughs> item off the list Perfect. Off the so, list, yeah. So what'd you do? You're you're covered. You're covered in this stuff. What'd you? We literally just stood there and looked at each other and started laughing, and then that my appointment, my nutrition appointment, was basically helping this poor lady clean her kitchen for an hour. We cleaned the. She's like this tall too, so like she's like four foot nothing. So I'm like, there's no way she's gonna ever even on a ladder touch her ceiling. So I'm standing on her counter cleaning her her ceiling and um the window and yeah it was it was really and we're talking nutrition the whole time <laughs> it's really funny yeah, that is hilarious i do a lot for my talk clients about turnkey service <laughs> right See, megan she she'll help you ferment she'll clean it up when it explodes <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's amazing that's such a funny story i hope you enjoyed that episode as much as we did so remember, if you know somebody who should be our guest on our next show, just click the link below. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe so that you'll never miss an episode.